In this video, I will be going over setting up OctaVerify from the Okta dashboard and OctaVerify for your phone. So as you can see here, I'm in the Okta dashboard. To configure OctaVerify, I'll first show you the default settings of a user that's been added to the universal directory in Okta. As you can see here, I have recently created test user one. Uh, there's not much configurations in this dashboard apart from this user. So the default policy for users that are added into Okta are just passwords. So from the trial URL, we'll go to the login page, enter the username here, click next, and we'll enter the password here as the first form of authentication click verify and it should directly log us into the dashboard. Now, in order to enable Okta Verify, we have to enforce the policy for multi-factor. To do that, we're going to click this hamburger, drop down the security tab, and from there select global session policy. This global session policy allows you to configure the policy for your entire Okta uh, dashboard. We'll click here, this edit icon under the default rule, and we'll change the MFA settings here from not required to required. So that allows us to log into the dashboard with the requirement of a second factor of authentication at the least. So we'll update the rule here and attempt to log in again. Next, for that same user, we'll enter that password again verify and as you can see here it is requesting us to set up either Okta verify or a phone account to for MFA into the Okta login. Now for the purpose of this tutorial I'll only be going through Okta verify but I do want to show that this is how you configure the phone as well for SMS. You just click up set up and enter your uh, phone number and that would allow you to log into Okta using your username, password, and then your phone as your second factor of authentication. Now we'll go to your phone here. As you can see in this screen right here, this is my phone. We're going to click open. Make sure that you have Okta Verify installed on your phone. Once you do, you'll click add account. click organization and it's going to ask do you have your QR code so right now we don't see any QR codes we will see that here once we click set up so go ahead and select yes ready to scan and scan that QR code now in for my device, it's requesting if I want to enable Face ID. For the moment, I will select Not Now. And your account is added. So let's go back to Sign In on this side. We'll log in again with the username that we had entered earlier. Next. And again with that password that we have as your first form factor of authentication. First form of authentication. Click Verify. And now we're being requested to sign in from our Okta Verify app. To complete the multi-factor authentication login, we're going to click Yes, It's Me from your phone. And it should successfully log you in. There we go. And voila, you are logged into the Okta dashboard with Okta Verify. That concludes the Okta Verify tutorial. Make sure to check out the link in the description if you wanted to have this tutorial in PDF format. I'll show a, pre a quick preview now of the Okta Verify tutorial. So if you want this PDF, make sure to click that uh, the link in the description below. Okay, thanks for watching.